So what's new in Adobe Photoshop 27.1 Beta? Let's check it out. And trust me, this update is actually worth your time. Open your image in Photoshop Beta. Now select the Crop tool and simply drag to whichever side you want to expand the image. You'll see an option called Generative Expand. Make sure it's selected. If it isn't, just select it manually. Once you hit Generate, Photoshop automatically fills that extra space. It gives you three variations, just choose whichever one looks best to your eyes. And by the way, in the contextual taskbar, you can see a short step-by-step -step demo of how this works so you're never confused. Now, on that same contextual bar, click the Add icon. Here you can generate completely new images just from text prompts. I'm choosing this old-style character. I'll tweak the prompt a little, choose whether I want it to look like art or a photo. I'll choose photo, add any effects or style I like. If you already have an Adobe subscription and still haven't started using it. Set the composition and hit generate. And boom, we get three new images for free. Simple. Now let's bring that generated character into our image. But first, let's create this image in full using Contextual Taskbar. Make sure Adobe Firefly Fill and Expand model selected. Now hit Generate. Vola. We have full image of old lady. Now for adding in image, we'll select Object and Mask. Then I'll choose the lady image we generated. We'll mask it using the Object Selection tool. Just select the subject and mask it out. Place her where you want in your composition. Now, keep the lady layer selected and look for Harmonize. Click on it. This feature is so good. It automatically adjusts the lighting and colors so she fits into the background naturally. If you don't like the first result, just generate more options. It's free right now you can clearly see the before and after difference. Before adding more elements, convert your image layer to Smart Object. Now, using the Marquee tool, select the area where you want to add something. This time, we'll use an image reference. I'm going to Google and grabbing a fire jet image. Generate, and there you go. You can choose whether you want it to generate only the object, the entire image, or place it automatically. This one looks pretty nice. Now again from the contextual taskbar, hit the Add icon and go to Adobe Stock. We have a bunch of free options. Select one and click Add. Let's search for Butterfly. Within seconds, it drops right into your canvas. Mask it using the Object Selection tool. Hold Shift if you want to select more parts, then click Mask. And again, click Harmonize. Instantly blends into the scene. In a real project, say a food campaign demo or a PPT mock-up you need in under two minutes, you can grab a reference image from Google or Pinterest, copy-paste it into Photoshop, and use Adobe Generative Fill to clean, extend, or blend the area accordingly. Now, to add a delivery guy to your food brand banner, first create the delivery guy image separately using Adobe Firefly Generative Fill, just like we did earlier. Keep generating as many times as you need until you're satisfied with the look. Next, mask the guy. Use Object Selection or your preferred masking method. Then make sure he's in PNG format with transparency. Drag this PNG into your food delivery banner, select the delivery guy layer, and click Harmonize. Generate multiple Harmonize variations until the lighting and color match your background and everything looks natural. That's it. Quick, clean, and ready for client-facing mockups. 
Now, let's go into upscaling using Topaz models inside Photoshop. I downloaded a low-res tree image from Google. Go to Image Select Generative Upscale. The panel opens. We have two models here. Let's start with Topaz Gigapixel. Let's set scale to 4x. You can see the preview size changing. Once done, hit Upscale. And look, before and after. Um, really good clarity. Nice. Now let's try Spider-Man. Hope we don't get copyright. Same process. Image, Generative Upscale Select Model as Topaz. Then scale it to four times and hit Upscale. Looks nice. Let's drag this Spider-Man to the tree image. Both images now look sharp but Spider-Man needs to blend with the background. For this, select Spider-Man layer, convert to Smart Object, now the Harmonize button appears, click it. You get three variations or generate more. Look at the difference. The shadows and lighting match perfectly. But if you try to upscale after harmonizing, it won't work because of the layer limitations. So let's test the second model, Topaz Bloom, on a pixelated image. Same steps. Go to Image in the Toolbar, then Generative Upscale, then choose Model Topaz Bloom. Let's select Creativity Full and Scale four times. Hit Upscale. Before and after, not perfect, but definitely much cleaner and usable. Now bonus for those still watching, and this is huge. Adobe is giving unlimited access to generative features. Just go to Creative Cloud, then click on this unlimited Adobe Firefly, or simply search Adobe Firefly on Google. Adobe is giving unlimited access to generative features until December 1st, 2025. Yes, unlimited the site opens. Once you are ready, generate prompt, as I already generated a prompt in ChatGPT, so let's just paste it here. But don't use Google's Nano Banana model because it costs 400 credits. Choose Adobe Firefly model because it's free. Now select Model. Adobe Firefly Resolution, 1080p. Duration is fixed at five seconds for now. You can add reference images or camera motion. Once done, hit Generate. Wait about one, two minutes and preview the result. Um, nice, not bad at all. There's also an edit icon where you can add sound effects. that costs 10 credits and gives four music variations. So let's just ask ChatGPT to create a music prompt so we can use here. Nice we have four variation of background music so you can choose any music you like for your video. Then click on music to add or drag to timeline here. Keep checking by pressing enter or play for preview. Once you're happy, you can download this by just pressing download button here on top right corner. You can also use pre-built templates. I tried the Fox one, changed the prompt slightly using ChatGPT, replacing with Lion, and it worked well.
Now, let's try with Kakashi image I downloaded from Google and ask ChatGPT to create a matching anime style prompt for Firefly. Generated a five second anime motion clip. Looks cool for reels. Tried with Naruto too. Not perfect, but definitely usable. So yeah, this is your playground now. Thanks for watching. And remember, keep creating, because even a single change can spark your creativity.